Uh, we will be opening the uh, public hearing for the uh, Canyon County Tentative Operating Budget Fiscal Year 2013. And if anyone has not signed in and wants to sign in, please uh, uh, make sure that uh, you uh, grab one of those sign-in sheets and then we'll, we'll bring it forth. All right. Um, what I'd like to do is uh, I'd like to introduce, uh, let's see if we've got, I, I can see our treasurer is here. Everybody wants to meet the treasurer, Tracy Lloyd, that has the name on the bills that you get. Merry Christmas and, uh, and happy June. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have any other elected officials? Where's the clerk? Oh, here he is, right here. Chris Yamamoto, our Canyon County clerk. Uh, we're going to introduce uh, our controller here in just a minute. Uh, any other elected officials? If not, if everybody that works for the county uh, in any capacity would please stand and, and uh, let's give them a big hand. Uh, they do a lot of hard work and, uh, and sometimes don't get hand claps, huh? Thank you. All right, we've got, uh, I can see we've got Mayor, Mayor uh, Darren Taylor in the back. Do we have any other mayors? Mayor Taylor is from uh, Middleton. Thanks for coming. All right. Um, this, uh, this budget hearing, what we're going to do is we're going to get a, first of all, our controller, Zach Wagner, is going to uh, uh, give us a, a, a rundown of the total budget. So if you don't have a copy of the budget, and you would like to get one, uh, make sure that you can, you can grab one back in the back. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take public testimony. So we're going to check the, we're going to check the file and make sure that uh, if, if your name is on a list. We've got uh, a couple of, uh, of uh, forms that are already, sign-in sheets that are already up here. But what I'd like to do is kind of like we did the other day in our, in our uh, meeting that we had. This public hearing is so that you can uh, give us information about your thoughts on the budget. If you think that we're doing a great job or we're not doing a great job. Uh, and it's nice to have everybody here, by the way. The, uh, if you're going to give testimony and uh, if there's a person that wants to be a, a spokesperson on behalf of the Caney County, or Caney County uh, Historic Society, or Middleton, or, or whomever would like to speak, uh, or just if you want to speak on the general budget, uh, that's fine. If you if you have a specific uh, concern, like the uh, the Canyon County Historic Society uh, did, then uh, if if you're if you're if you're going to sign in and you're just going to repeat testimony, all you have to really do is get up and say, I agree with with. Uh, with uh, Sandy, or I agree with uh, with whoever's testifying, so that uh, that way we're not here all night. But at the same time, you get an opportunity to 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 say you either agree or you disagree with with uh, something that that uh, they have said, or or if you've got something to add that's new or uh, additional, then by all means we want to hear you. But if it's if it's the same. Uh, uh, testimony. Then, if you'll if you'll do it that way, that'll help us get through. We're going to give everybody uh, three minutes uh, when we do get to that point. But I just wanted to make sure everybody has an opportunity to to sign in. Okay. With that, uh, we have uh, Commissioner uh, Kathy Alder, uh, Steve Rule, and David Ferdinand here, uh, as well as some of the other elected officials. I see the sheriff out in the hallway, but he he hasn't come in yet. We'll uh, acknowledge him when he gets in here. And Zach Wagner is our controller. And uh, we would just like to say all the hard work that goes in with all the department heads, with all the elected officials, and all the input. We have some new software this year that uh, have, has really helped uh, not use pencil and paper anymore. Uh, this budget uh, takes a long time. We start usually meetings somewhere around April. We start talking about it way ahead of time, and actually we look at budgets two or three years in advance today. But uh, we really appreciate, uh, uh, Zach, your hard work and efforts in uh, getting this together for tonight. So if you want to go ahead and, 
begin your presentation. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. And I want to also uh, acknowledge the hard work that the board and the department administrators and the elected officials put into developing this budget. A $66.8 million budget does not get uh, put together on its own. And not only that, but as you mentioned, we rolled out new uh, accounting software this year. We did. And we are we're very pleased with the product, and I'm very pleased with the effort that everyone's put forward to put that product to use. On the, the document that the county prepared on page number two, it lists the, the budget amounts by activity or function. And there's a pie chart at the top of page number two that shows 50% of what the county budgets goes towards public safety. And some of the major offices or departments under public safety would be the, the sheriff, uh, the prosecuting attorney, juvenile probation, the public defender, and juvenile detention. 35% of the budget is for general government services, including the clerk, the county fleet, information technology, and other entities throughout the county. 5% of the budget is for public works, 7% is for health and welfare, and 3% is devoted to culture and recreation. Beginning on page three, we provide a, a breakdown by office or department with the 2012 expenditure budget and the 2013 tentative expenditure budget. And I will touch on the, the departments or the offices where there are significant changes from the previous year. And I'll start with the buildings and grounds department. Their budget is down by $430,000. And that's due largely to a decrease in the, in the line item for purchase of real estate. That line item is down by $250,000 from 2012. Also, the uh, elevator maintenance line item is down by $70,000 for 2013. Canyon County Dispatch, 2013 will be the first full fiscal year that we have a county dispatch fund. The idea there was to provide clarity into exactly what it costs the county to provide dispatch services. Previously, those expenditures were under the sheriff's budget and the justice fund, but we have created a new separate fund just for dispatch activities. Right. And the revenue to support those activities comes from sales tax and revenue sharing money that the county gets from the state. The, the clerk's budget includes a new purchasing position and also passport activities that were previously in elections have been transferred to the recorder's office. And along with that, we have moved an employee, a position that was previously in elections to the recorder's office. Also, we have a general election coming up in November and we expect and we're budgeting for increased expenditures relating to the, the general election. The county clerk is also now responsible for consolidated elections. And if you'll notice, we have a decrease in the consolidated elections budget. Consolidated election activity varies from year to year. So we're expecting a, a decrease in consolidated elections activity next year that will be an increase in the, the elections budget in the current expense fund. Next page, page number four. We have an increase in the, the county weed control budget. That increase is on the other expenses, 
an increase of $64,600, and that is for capital purchases. Capital purchases that have been put off for too long, and it's now time to, to upgrade some equipment in that area. With the decrease in budgets over the past few years, we have been putting off capital purchases, and we don't want to get caught in a situation where in a few years from now where everybody needs capital items. We're going to take care of those capital items as we can throughout the next few years. The court facilities fund has an increase in their budget of $100,000. This is non-property tax funds. And these monies are set aside very specifically for courtroom additions, courtroom construction. And, and the balance in that fund will be $500,000, and we're budgeting that for fiscal year 2013. Development services, their budget is down by uh, almost $120,000. That is because they completed a software acquisition in 2012. And that software is now up and running and no need to pay for it again. The Emergency Communications Fund, their budget is down $382,000. That is because they had a fund balance and that fund balance has been spent during fiscal year 2012, and we anticipate $1.2 million in revenue coming into that fund on an annual basis, and that's the money that they will have available to spend. Page number five. Juvenile Detention Department is unfunding two additional positions for 2013. Our Juvenile Probation Department is picking up two additional positions. A juvenile Drug Court Coordinator and a Substance Abuse Evaluator position. Part of the funding for these positions comes from grants and the, the B budget or the other expenses is down. The, the Substance Abuse Evaluator expenses were previously paid out of the B budget the contract that will now be handled by an in-house county employee. The landfill budget is up by $96,000. The landfill compensates the county for services that the county provides to the landfill. Those would include legal services, accounting, auditing, payroll, cash management services, and the amount of money that the landfill will contribute to the county has been increased for 2013. We took a look at the, the actual cost of providing those services, and based on the actual numbers, we felt it was appropriate to increase that contribution. 